today we've got a fun Mizuno iron comparison. We've got the new Pro 225 in that player's distance category, and we'll compare it to the JPX 921 Forged and the JPX 921 Hot Metal Pro. Should be a really fun comparison on TrackMan. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahova, Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing at Minnetonka in the Tour Van. Three iron heads from Mizuno. The brand new uh, Mizuno Pro 225, kind of that uh, thicker uh, player's distance iron. And we've got the JPX 921 Forged and the JPX 921 Hot Metal Pro. So a lot of ball speed here, but yep. also a lot of great feel provided by Mizuno's kind of grain flow forging process, at least on the Pro 225. So very excited about all of these irons. I know that both 921 models have been great in fittings. Now we add to the mix the Mizuno Pro line. So Jackie, from what you know about these irons, what do you think we'll see today? Well, first off, I mean, Mizuno always has exceptional feel. Mm -hmm. So that I know for sure no, through all three of them that that's going to be the case. Yep. Uh, the biggest thing is going to be dispersion patterns and forgiveness of each. Mm -hmm. I think there'll be subtle differences in some of the numbers in terms of you know, spin and ball speed and, yeah. you know, overall distance from that as well. Uh, you know, looking at the loss, uh, not too much of a, of a difference. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we're going to see, you know, a lot of difference there, but I think yeah. there'll be little minute things that, yeah. you know, whether I don't think there's anything drastic. I know the Hot yeah. Metal Pro, I believe, is at 29. Yep. Um, that's the strongest one, but it's there's nothing huge where, because all these irons are kind of players' distance. Yep. You know, you could argue the, the Hot Metal Pro is kind of a game improvement iron, but... Regardless, they're kind of all in there where they're going to provide you some distance and, and some juice with a little bit stronger than traditional lofts. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, it'll be a fun test to kind of see mostly on the feel from my point of view because, like, I've never really, like, tested all these head-to-head. -head. Okay. So just to kind of get, an, you know, uh, an idea of the feel between the two and then on the miss hits, like, what does that feel sure. like? How, what happens to the ball? Um, what are the numbers from that? And so it'll be a fun test for sure. Yeah, well, Mizuno is always knocked out of the park. I've played Mizuno irons in the past and love them. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens here because these are three highly, you know, anticipated irons. I know in terms of the fittings over the past year with these JPX 921s, but now the Mizuno Pro line in the 225s. There's a lot of hype for those. So let's let's see what Trackman tells us here. Let's go. Oh, there you go. A little better. Well, that one sounded good. That was a good strike. Yeah, I changed my face to path on that one. You did. Eight degrees. <laughs> you did. You made some adjustments there. That's, that's four with the Hot Metal Pro. What did you think about that club? Feel, look, anything? Um. Yeah, I mean, I I definitely think it feels good. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I think the thing that I noticed is that, you know, I had three shots that I just left the face open. Um, still trying to get warmed up here. So I think yeah. that's, you know, for me, I, that's good, though, that, you know, when I do have that miss hit and it do leave the face open, like, you know, 15 yards to the right off the center, that's not terrible. I mean, it's not, like, my standards are high, so obviously not sure. great, but, like, uh, you know, for a miss hit, that's good. Yeah. That well, I'm still I'm getting that good distance and, like, off the face yeah. it's not spinning too much and mm -hmm. you know flying out into right center field so how uh how do you feel about the look of that club because the hot metal pro it's basically designed like the hot metal but in a more kind of compact uh a shape that kind of will appeal to you know a better player's eye a little bit so what yeah it's got thing, like a, a little bit that? thinner profile on the top um they kind of try to edge it out on the end here to to hide the extra sure. weight and the extra bulk here so it's it's deceiving to, in in that regard because it it looks they're trying to make it look sleeker yeah. basically um and hide that weight but i mean i i don't know i don't mind the look at all i think okay. and it's a solid looking club especially for more of a player's distance slash game improvement iron mm -hmm. it's okay. got a good look to it sweet well okay let's go to the next club here jpx 921 forged
Good one. Yeah. Another good one there. Yep. Dead straight. Little miss. That might leak out to the right. Yep. Not bad though. Still relatively straight. A little club twirl on that. I saw a club twirl. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the Forge now, JPX 921 Forged and the uh, mm -hmm. Hot Metal Pro are the two you've hit. Yep. How about the look and feel? Did you feel a difference with this one? Uh, first, I mean, yeah, the look right away is definitely sleeker. Okay. More compact for sure than the Hot Metal Pro, um, which maybe that is more of a mind game of like what I'm used to with my irons. Just the look is very similar. Okay. So a little bit more confidence with just the club head in general, maybe. Okay. I don't know. Because it's it's a, it, probably more similar to because you play the T two hundred. The T two hundred. Yeah. That's um yeah that's probably a closer fit to that than yeah. the Hot Metal Pro. Um, but yeah, I, I mean. Good feel too. I mean, yeah, there's no difference felt, in feel. It felt very similar to the Pro, okay. honestly. Not a lot of difference, but maybe definitely a little bit more feedback with this one versus the Pro. Like. Okay. A couple of them, I mean, I, the one that I had a miss hit on for sure was I could feel that it was going to be short. Sure, yeah. So, on this one? Yeah. So that definitely was a little bit, I like that. I mean, yeah, it was short, mm -hmm. but also like make me a little bit better ball striker being able to get that feedback yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. And then uh, numbers wise, those two are actually pretty similar, really. Um, just a little bit more consistent with the forge as of right now, but we got more shots to hit, and then we've got the Mizuno Pro 225 now. That was good. Uh, okay. That worked. Yeah. Probably uh, I, I hit the ground effect a little bit. Yeah. Potentially, but hey, it worked. It felt good, but I knew I hit the ground, so. Knuckleball a little bit. Uh, you're leaning, totally. you're leaning. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. That one's good. Yeah, a little short. That's good. That's very straight. So the Pro 225, give me your thoughts on the feel and look of that one now. Because this is outside of the JPX 921 series. We're now in the Kind of the new, you know, Mizuno Pro series. Uh, um, give me your thoughts on that. Definitely different look. I mean, the the club head itself is more like small. It's smaller, yeah. right? So like <laughs> the face itself, the the sweet spot's definitely going to be a sure. little bit smaller, right? That's the first thing I noticed. Um, it, it's similar to the forged head in terms of the top line and stuff. Okay. Uh, but and yeah, it's. Having the sleek look on the back, I mean, yeah, it, it's sexy, right? Yeah. Everyone, everyone, that's why Mizuno's like. Yeah, it's a, it's a, kind a of brought that. Line. You know, there's that muscle back kind of look, yep. that blade look. They've just made it a little bit larger for golfers that kind of want that look, but still need the performance of a little bit more forgiveness, yeah. a little bit more distance. That's ah. what. That's kind of what this, you know, the, eight, the MP20 HMB and now the 225 Pro. It's kind of the same. Deal where it's just a little bit larger muscle back look. Yeah, I would say, you know, now that I look at it, the top line's actually really similar to the Hot Metal Pro. Like okay. it's it's a little it down here it's like deceiving. Like deceiving it kind of like what's behind it there. Yeah. Like um but you get up closer and it's definitely got okay. a thicker top line than the forged. So really? okay. interesting that like they're and you can see here they've tried to instead of having the shiny um you know, plated metal on the top. They've like used like a matted finish to kind of probably, sure. you know, yeah. no, the most eye. things matter. I mean, it, it's, it, manufacturers do that. They but, kind of, they construct the club in a way to make it, you know, either, either they may actually make it smaller or they yeah. make it look smaller because that stuff matters. Um, Feel wise. I mean, I, I don't know. I can't really tell a whole lot of difference. I think the forge actually felt the best so far. Like, okay. The, the JPS 921 forge. Yeah. Okay. I also feel like I, hit that one a little bit better. Sure. You know, had a couple better swings. So probably just more of that yeah. hitting the center of the sweet spot just a little so bit. So it's, it's funny you mentioned that because actually that was your highest ball speed uh, yeah. despite it being the most, the highest loft, 31 degrees loft on the forged. 
and you had the most ball speed with it. Uh, so we got, you know, and numbers wise, it's actually the farthest club too. So you have clearly been hitting that probably the best. Also, it does have kind of the leftmost, uh, you know, dispersion up there with three over here on this left side. Yep. Um, so those are a couple things to note. Spin's actually really similar across all three of them, which is kind of fun. Um, but let's get, uh, let's hit four more with all three now. So we'll have eight shots total with each of the three, and then we'll kind of break down the numbers, see if anything really pops out. Well, the club head speed with the Pro and the Forger are the same. Oh yeah? That's good <laughs> testing is what that is. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was smoked. Wow. Oh, God. That one's going to be a nay. I actually think it's going to be OK. Yeah. That. <laughs> That's a good uh, miss. Oof. Some added forgiveness in the uh, Mizuno Pro 225, huh? Yeah, I mean. That's a good ball right there. Yeah. Another good ball. Might be this the one same just exact feels, time. it feels, I don't know how to explain it. It like on my, on my backswing here, like it just like flows better. Okay. And I, it's weird I mean, it's because good feedback. like, because like the shaft, and obviously we're using the same shaft. Yep. But there's just something about like the head that's just like, I don't know. There's just a more, little bit more confidence instilled in you. Yeah. Because you're hitting all of these pretty darn good. That was a miss hit, but. I mean, what's wrong with that? Eh. Just turn it over a little bit. Yeah. That was good. No. That was good. Wow. Best one. That might be the highest ball speed of the day. So we've got eight now with each one up on screen with the Hot Metal Pro, the Forge, and the Pro 225. Um, I'm gonna just going to pick some out here for kind of maybe outliers per se or like maybe the, the, I don't know, worst shots. I see this one here with the Pro. I see maybe this one yeah. or this one with I'd, the Forge. Yeah. This one? Either that one, I would go the one on the left. That one, I'd okay. hit the turf and kind of close the okay. face a lot. And then the Hot Metal Pro would be one of these or this one? I'd go the one on the right, probably. This one here? Yeah. So we've got now uh, seven of the best shots from each club here. Yep. Uh, you want to start with dispersion? Or you want to start with the numbers here, Jackie? Um, We can start with the dispersion first. I think... Uh, Definitely, uh, the one I felt the most comfortable with was the Forge. The Forge. Um, and I don't, it's just maybe more of a, you know, what I'm used to, like the look and stuff of the actual club, very similar to the T200. So like, that was probably part of it. But also like, again, like I was explaining, like just the flow of the club head, like through impact just felt a little bit better. I felt like with, the for me for that pro 225 i mean it felt good like mm -hmm. nothing against like the contact i mean i hit it well and dispersion's not too bad but i don't know there's something like i couldn't really mm -hmm. get the flow of the club through um interesting yeah and so i would say but you know the pro 225 and the jpx 924s are definitely you know very similar in terms of yeah. you know when we look at data but yeah, the Hot Metal Pro, I don't know. I just, I had a tendency to leave the face open more with that one. Yeah, you did. Yeah, which it was is... interesting. It's a little bit more open. And it's the strongest lofted one, too. Yeah. Um, just wanted to see if we move this to carry. We see a little bit more of a kind of a, a difference there. Seeing that a lot of, I think, you know, the, the Pro 225, it's kind of a north and south. You know, there's yeah. a lot of difference there. But it's relatively straight every time. So take that for what, you know, you will. Um, but yeah, I think the forge is probably the dispersion circle you want here. If someone were to be 
uh, you know, looking for one of these irons and has a similar swing profile to yours, I think, you know, they'd, I think I would prefer the yellow circle. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, five, anyway. yeah, five of the seven shots up there are very good. They're right here, you know. Yeah. So that's something to note. Now, it's what it's worth noting, too, the Pro 25 there's four right here that are yeah. pretty good. So these are just a couple of the misfits down here. Um, but so let's go numbers here. Let's see what the numbers say. So club speed, pretty <laughs> similar across the board. Uh, that's pretty good testing right there. Yeah. Ball speed, fours was the highest again. So you were hitting that the best, I think, pretty clearly just because of, again, that's the highest lofted iron. You got the highest ball speed out of it. And smash factor, pretty similar. Spin, look how close the spin is on average here. Now, we noticed some inconsistency with the Hot Metal Pro. Yep. But the average spin is, I mean, we, we are, everything is in the 4,700 range, yep. which is kind of cool to see. Carry distance, pretty similar again. Uh, right under just 140 or just below 140 and total is right around 150. I just want to go to height here too. So height is relatively similar. You like the fours a lot. It's also the highest lofted club. So the highest height, but the, the numbers don't really tell us a, a, a ton of, you know, new information here really, because it's a lot of it is pretty similar. Well, yeah. And the face to path with the uh, forge at minus 0.1. I mean, that's pretty yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I, 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 a little closed on, you know, the 225 in the forge, you know, that's, you know, trying to hit that draw. So I'm going to get a little bit more distance with that too. Sure. Um, but, you know, typically that's what I'm trying to do. I just felt like, I mean, the Pro 225 definitely felt good. I think for myself, like the forge, for whatever reason, just kind of felt just yeah. a little bit better. I, mm -hmm. And it was nothing to do necessarily with the contact, more of just, the natural flow of the club head. And so for whatever reason, you know, it, that's just what I feel. But I also, it was fun to hit the Pro 225. I think this shows right here that obviously it's good. And mm -hmm. like- Yeah, no, I mean, these are all really good club heads. Yeah. And I think there's still some differences a little bit where, um, you know, like the Hot Metal Pro and the Forger is enough difference there, I think, to, to note, you know, the Hot Metal Pro does have a little bit more kind of the game improvement, yeah. user-friendly performance in there. Um, and then the fours is kind of a little bit more feel oriented and, and players oriented compared to the hot metal pro, but the pro 225 and the Forge should be, I kind of expected them to test out very, you know, close to each other here and they did. Yeah. Uh, and you see again, that, that the spin and the carry and the total, it's very similar. And I think even if you talk about, you know, you know, we talked about the loft and everything, the Forge is going the furthest or among the furthest needs to carry with that 31 degrees. I think that show that you were just a little bit more comfortable with. Yeah that forge compared to the others. Uh, but feel on all three sounds, sounds to be great. Um, I mean, it's Mizuno. They it's all Mizuno. feel good. They're gonna have, you know, that I mean, their slogan feel. of, what is it? Nothing feels like a Mizuno yeah. is so true. I yeah. mean, there's there's just a, you know, in the golf industry, there's a certain aura about the feel of Mizuno irons compared to others. Yeah. And there's, it's it's not like that's fake. You know, it's a, it's a real thing that the grain flow forging process with their forge irons, especially. So, um, that, yeah, this is great information here, Jackie. Thanks for hitting all those shots. It's really good testing, too, because we should note, you know, that club speed being so similar on, on the testing with each club is what makes these tests work. So um, good testing, good hitting today. Uh, great information here from TrackMan as well. I think all three of these irons are great. The Pro Series, the Pro 225, is going to be awesome for golfers in 2022 in the fitting bays here. Yeah, thanks for having me.